हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ मॉडल थ्री फ्लेक्जर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ क्रिस्ट कॉन्क्रीट सेक्शन दट स्ट्रेन कंपेटिबिलिटी मेथड प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ डिस्कस अबाउट दी इंट्रोडक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दी प्रोसीजर ऑफ स्ट्रेन कंपेटिबिलिटी मेथड इन दिस वीडियो विल सॉल्व दी वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्ट्रेन कंपेटिबिलिटी द प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन दैट इज सिमेट्रिकल आई सेक्शन इट इज पोस्ट टेंशन पी एस सी बी द स्पैन इज ट्वेंटी मीटर्स सिंपली सपोर्टेड एरिया ऑफ टेंडेंस ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर मिलीमीटर्स थिकनेस ऑफ लैंज वन सिक्सटी थिकनेस ऑफ वन सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर्स ओवरऑल डेप ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर्स एंड एक्सेंट्रिसिटी इज फाइव ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स फ्लैंज विथ फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर्स एंड देन टेंसाइज स्ट्रेंथ सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वेयर क्यूब स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट फोर्टी फाइव न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वेयर एंड इफेक्टिव प्रिस्टस आफ्टर ऑल लॉसिस एफ पी इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वेयर अदर गिवन डाटा इज एंग्स मॉडल्स ऑफ स्टील एंड एसलॉन्स यू दैट इज द अल्टीमेट कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेन के वन एंड के टू आर द कोविशेंट्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस ब्लॉक के वन इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स के टू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव एस्टिमेट दी फ्लेक्जल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द बीम बाई स्ट्रेन कंपेटिबिलिटी मेथड इट इज सिमेट्रिकल आई सेक्शन विद फाइव and 520 eccentricity overall depth 1200 mm effective depth is calculated as 600 plus 520 1120 mm and fpe and es are given first we have to calculate the effective strain that is the first step in the strain compatibility methods procedure epsilon sc is equal to fpe divided by es 1000 divided by 2 into 10 to 5 the value epsilon ce is equal to 0.005 and epsilon cu 0.0035 it is given in the problem and the second step is you have to assume the trial value first trial value x is equal to here 280 mm that will be 1/3 or 1/4 of the 1120 we can start effective depth here it is strain diagram epsilon c is given 0.0035 and bottom it is epsilon cu minus epsilon sc using similar triangles epsilon cu divided by x epsilon su minus epsilon sc divided by d minus x we can calculate the epsilon su minus epsilon sc is equal to 0.0105 then finally epsilon su is equal to 0.0155 then using this epsilon su we can calculate the ultimate stress that is stress multiplied by eng's modulus strain multiplied by the eng's modulus fpu is equal to fpu is equal to 3100 newton per millimeter square then corresponding tensile force is equal to aps into fpu 1200 into 3100 tensile force is 3720 kN similarly compressive force is equal to cu k1 fck into x is the area of stress block multiplied by the width of the section the value is cu is equal to 3780 kN and you can compare the tu and cu here tu is not equal to cu but Q is less than C U. Therefore, you have to decrease the value for next trial. The difference between these two is less, only 60 kilo newton. Therefore, you have to value decrease value should be very less. Therefore, you can take the second trial value as x is equal to 275 millimeters. And same steps we can repeat from second to fourth. That is, once again strain diagram, and you have to calculate the bottom strain epsilon S U minus epsilon S C is equal to 0.0107. Finally, epsilon S U, it is the ultimate tensile strain, is equal to 0.01575. With the help of this, we can find out the ultimate tensile stress, that is 3151 newton per millimeter square. Then, ultimate tensile force is equal to 3151. This is stress multiplied by area of steel. The ultimate tensile force is equal to 3781.1 kilo newton. The ultimate compressive force C U. the compressive zone it is equal to 0.645 into 275 and 500 the value is 3712.5 kN then we can compare these two values tu and cu here it is tu is more than cu therefore you have to slightly increase the x value therefore we can have the third trial value as x is equal to 277.5 and d minus x is equal to 842.5 and we have to repeat the same steps from second to fourth And you have to calculate epsilon S U minus epsilon S C with the using same formula, 842.5 into 0.035 divided by 277.5, and the value is 0.0106. And epsilon S U is equal to you have to add the epsilon S C then 0.0156. Using this strain, we can calculate the ultimate tensile stress that is 3125 newton per millimeter square. 
the corresponding tensile force is equal to stress multiplied by area of style that will be 3750 kilo newton then ultimate compressive force cu is equal to 0 0.6 into 45 277.5 and 500 that all the values are same except this x values what is third trial value the value is we have got the cu is equal to 374346.3 therefore you can compare the tu and cu here and the difference is less we can have the one more trial also here once again tu is greater than cu we have to slightly decrease the values you can take 277.2 or 277.3 and you can calculate the same steps and get the tu and cu you may get the the amicable that is that is tu is equal to cu but here we can stop in this way that is approximately equal that is cu is equal to tu finally we are evaluating the ultimate moment of resistance using the following expression m u is equal to aps fpu into bracket d minus 0.56 this is a train compatibility method and here it is aps is 1200 fpu is 3125 which were calculated previously and d is 1120 minus 0.5 into 277.5 that is the trial value and finally m u is equal to 3679.68 kilo newton meter and thank you if you got any doubts please ask me